So I'm on the roof today and I decided to pull the ACs and that's going to require removing nine screws, this being the last one, all the way around the shroud. And then once we get this opened up, we'll look at the mountain. So here's what it looks like underneath and initially after locating the bolts, I'm noticing they're junk steel bolts so i probably will be replacing those with stainless from lowe's before i put this back into place and latch it down so there's four of them they're all right there Trying to get this one off up front. And seem to be tearing up the uh, pad. And spinning up the roof some. This is not good. We have to do some extra sealant there. We'll see. A little WD-40. I'm trying to lubricate everything with. This one was a little bit of a challenge. Looks like it pulled up the roof a little bit, but nothing too too much to worry about. We'll see. Um, it kind of spun up this little rubber uh, pad or mountain pad here, kind of create a little shock absorber, I guess, between the actual AC and the roof. Uh, I could probably pick something up to replace it if it's torn up too bad. Probably will be uh, applying some sealant to that area. WD-40 actually did help uh, lubricate the bolt uh, in between the number and the roof and kind of put a little film in between that and let it go. Uh, anything would work that has a little bit of a viscosity to it, I think. But uh, all four are out and we're going to shut it off and see uh, if we can pull it off um, to the side. So this is what I found here blocking the DC flow. All that goes up into there. And then all this goes this way. So yeah, not too bad, yeah. but uh had yeah, some let me blockage. know when you're ready to put it. So here's my duct work with the AC off. Looking up and through the ceiling. And it's pretty wide open. It's a little collapsed up in there, but need to probably put some spacers in there. I've retaped all this. It's pretty well taped. It might not look it, but it is. So, I've got it pretty well cleared out. I noticed a lot of mold, a um, little black mold here from some condensation. That could be getting caused by this hole in the roof right here. Um, well, in the ductwork, there's a little hole. So uh, yeah, I've been pissing out uh, AC into the attic area right here. There was no, none of this there. Um, there was a bunch gobbed up around this side. I kind of left that. I didn't cut it all out, but um, there's a little, you know, condensation in here, probably from just pulling the AC off. But um, yeah, it's uh, it's considerably better. But I might get some more spray foam and just carefully put in a little bit, and before I seal it back up, um, try and uh, make sure that there's no. back on the roof. Okay, so here's the finished product. 
I've sealed up this side here. I've sprayed some spray foam in there, put a little extra over here. Not that that's really any worry, but I did it anyways. And I went ahead and uh, filled in that gap with some extra spray foam, redid this spray foam here. Um, just kind of wrapped around a little bit of the uh, bare wood areas, smoothed off this stuff, redid some of the tape there. And that's it. Hopefully you can see that good. Pretty happy with that flow. I feel like that should be an improvement. We'll see. So here I am at the top. I don't think it's like yours. I don't see where it comes off. Um, you got any suggestions? So here it is. And sure enough, right full of sawdust. Okay, I have the AC back on. It's been about an hour. Uh, it got up to about 83, 84 degrees in the front. It's 98 degrees outside right now. Cooled off pretty quick. I don't think it matters whether it's 63 or 65 or 67. It's still gonna cool how it's gonna cool. I left the diffuser uh, covers off uh, because I want most of the AC to dump out in this area. By putting those on, it's gonna restrict airflow in that area and let it go to the back. So um, I did that. Uh, when I pulled these off and I had the roof of uh, AC off, I stuck my camera up in there and I looked and I could see that they, that they were um, held up pretty good. Um, I could probably put a few uh, spacers in there like some of you have done, um, similar to how I've done this here. I probably will go ahead and use a, um, PVC pipe like some others have done because I could see how this could uh, create some blockage but in this orientation it's fine because you know all the air is going this direction um, I also just to show you again I cut out the entire area of this uh, piece of trim I've, I've removed that I, I cut it out I mean I marked it and I cut it all the way out um, giving myself max airflow so after looking up through there, it was pretty good. Um, I will note that I did put some screws in the ceiling. I went ahead and Lowe's and painted these. I put some screws because the staples just don't hold that up. Um, got some over here too. Try to evenly space them so they look decent. Um, but yeah, uh, pretty happy with the, with the uh, improvement here i think it'll make a big difference and i'll be saving a lot on electricity so hope this helps